हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो नीट पी जी काउंसलिंग इज गोइंग टू स्टार्ट इन जुलाई मोस्ट लाइकली एंड सो इन दिस वीडियो आई वॉन्ट टू डिस्कस वाई यू शूड चूज रेडियोलॉजी फॉर योर एम डी ब्रांच इफ यू आर एट एनी पॉइंट इंटरेस्टेड इन टेकिंग रेडियोलॉजी ड्यूरिंग योर एम बी बी एस और आफ्टर एम बी बी एस सो जस्ट अ ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट मी आई एम डॉक्टर ऋषभ जैन आई डिड माई एम बी बी एस फ्रॉम एम्स डेली एंड माई एम डी इन रेडियोलॉजी फ्रॉम पी जी आई चंडीगढ़ एंड आई एम करेंटली योर रेडियोलॉजी फैकल्टी एट एल एन नेक नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आई एल डिस्कस बोथ द प्रोस एंड कॉन्स ऑफ रेडियोलॉजी नॉट जस्ट ओनली द गुड पॉइंट बट आई ऑल्सो वॉन्ट टू पॉइंट आउट सम कॉन्स इज वेल विच आई रिलाइज ड्यूरिंग माई जर्नी ऑफ दिस रेडियोलॉजी एंड आई होपफुली दैट विल हेल्प यू मेक अ इन्फॉर्म डिसीजन सो कमिंग ऑन टू द प्रोज फर्स्ट सो द बिगेस्ट प्रो ऑफ रेडियोलॉजी एज अ ब्रांच is the work life balance right uh, you know about the work life balance that radiology provides and okay let's assume that during your residency yes the residency itself is hectic radiology residency unlike the common notion is not so chill because you have to read a lot you have to report ct and mrs late till the night also so radiology residency is a little hectic i can agree to that but post residency even your sr ship at most places and during your career uh, in radiology your work life balance will be really maintained so it's essentially a 9 to 5 or a 10 to 6 job in which you'll get a decent salary and after that you can go back to your house you can go back to your family to your wife to your children and spend time with them and that is like really really important in your life right you don't want to be completely consumed by the amount of work that you do second that uh, radiology is actually at the center stage of patient management so you will get patients referred from medicine surgery obs gynae pediatrics orthopedics and all clinical specialties and as a radiologist your diagnosis your ultrasound your ct mr will play a pivotal role in patient management okay so don't consider radiology as a non clinical branch in fact radiology now is considered more and more of a clinical branch because it integrates a lot of clinics into it also in radiology there is a lot of interventions that keep happening now right so you will get patients very frequently for fnacs biopsies pictorial insertions drainages and if you are in a hospital which does vascular intervention as well then there is nothing more satisfying than doing a vascular intervention believe me now third point academics so radiology itself is a very very academic field okay it's a very highly reputed academic field you get cases from all over the department and rare rare cases okay some case reports for which there is not a lot of information that is available uh, on the internet so you have a lot of opportunities to publish case reports case series do collaborations with your clinical fellows and uh, do a prospective study in a clinical radiological fashion so radiology is a very very academic field in that aspect fourth is respect so as a radiologist uh, clinicians value your opinion if you are a good radiologist okay they value what information you what input you give in patient management they value your image reading skill they value your reading of ct mrs and in aims pgi in most central institutes there are frequent clinico radiological conferences okay clinic clinico radiological rounds in which both the clinicians and the radiologists sit together they discuss the imaging of a patient and in that way a collective management of the patient is done so radiology forms a very integral part of clinical management as well okay now coming to fifth point money so everybody knows that radiologist earns well and yes that is true radiologist does earn well but more than money it's about the per hour earning of money that is more in radiology i feel so for a let's say for a 10 to 6 or a 9 to 5 job if you are a practicing consultant after your md and sr ship you'll get decent money uh, for the amount of work that you do now sixth point is freedom so unlike other clinical branches i feel personally that in radiology you have a lot of freedom to do so first you have a lot of free time in which you can do a lot of things and also you are not really bound by a place right so you can for example work at two places you can maybe uh, work in a hospital in the day and maybe do tele reporting in the evening sort of thing so there is a lot of freedom that is available to you uh, also radiology provides you with the opportunity to go abroad and amongst all specialties radiology is one specialty in which going across nations let's say uk us australia it's comparatively easier as compared to other clinical branches especially surgical fields now seventh uh, point is no patient interaction now i have kept this in both pros as well as cons uh, for some it might be a con for for some it might be a pro 
so it depends upon what kind of a person you are so if you are really into academics you are a nerd you like reading stuff uh, you like uh, doing stuff on your own so i think radiology will really really suit you you will not crave for patient interaction you will be in your own academics and in your own reporting so these are some of the pros of radiology that i felt during my journey as a radiologist now what are the cons so again there is no patient interaction i've still kept it in a con because for some it might be a con they love seeing patients they love talking to the patients they love uh, interacting with their relatives they love going on rounds every morning to see their patients happy so for some radiology might not be a good idea now patient recognition so eventually patient is under a clinician the clinician admits the patients and hence sends you for further investigation as a to a radiologist now so hence the patient does not recognize radiologist as a primary treating physician in a lot of scenarios for him or her the primary doctor will be the clinician who has admitted him so in that way there is less recognition from patient side but that again depends upon what kind of a person you are whether you crave that or not no third saturation now this is something that i have gotten feedback from a lot of students that they feel that radiology is saturated especially in big cities so in tierwan cities in metros i would say yes uh, radiology is saturated like any other branch not just radiology any other branch in a metro or a tierwan city is saturated okay you have to make this point clear this is not just specific to radiology it's specific to all branches in a tierwan or a metro city now in tier 2 and tier 3 cities there is still a dearth of good radiologist okay there is still a dearth of good radiologist who give you correct diagnosis who are very good in ultrasound okay so you will never run out of jobs if you are okay with shifting to a let's say tier 2 or a tier 3 city now fourth need for super specialization so unlike uh, the days of the past when only an md radiology was sufficient especially if you want to practice in a tier 1 city you do need to super specialize okay because there are hospitals there are departments who have some special needs some special queries regarding uh, their specialty for example if you are in a hospital which is a particular spine center or a orthopedic or a sports injury center so they would need or they would uh, ask for a radiologist who have done a musculoskeletal fellowship right who is familiar with reading and similarly if you are in a brain and spine center they would require they would prefer a neuro radiologist so in tier 1 city specially you have to super specialize if you want to stand out from the rest now fifth a lot of reading is required in radiology so as i told you earlier radiology is a very academic branch okay so unlike other branches radiology will will require a lot of reading i'm not saying that other branches don't but especially in radiology if you are not reading uh, you are not becoming good radiologist okay because there are things that you have to read so you have to come up with a list of differential diagnoses why is this appearance not seen in other clinicians will ask you doubts your patients are other doctors okay your customers are other doctors so you have to read more than them right so a lot of reading is required especially during your md and also during your sr ship so these were the cons that i felt about radiology something that when i was uh, aspiring when i was looking for a neat pg seat i thought that some of my seniors would have told me about this now i would cover two important point uh, in this so first is artificial intelligence in radiology now this fear has been since the time when i joined radiology so that was in 2018 and it has been 5 years since then and uh, believe me the scare of ai taking over radiology was much more back then and it has slowly and slowly subsided now right it is also due to the fact that a lot of ai has also come into clinics okay so you know uh, everybody knows about chat gpt and chat gpt is very good especially in clinical management okay so it really gives you uh, good answers for a particular query even if you are practicing let's say medicine or pediatrics so if ai is to take over it will take over radiology dermatology pathology medicine pediatrics everything okay so not just radiology and as far as radiology is considered in ai and radiology is more of a pattern recognition based at this moment you need a radiologist to confirm whether the findings that the ai is picking up are correct relevant and can be used for management or not it picks up a lot of false finding it picks up a lot of irrelevant findings most of them might not be used in the clinical management per se 
for example you need a radiologist to identify whether this is an artifact or this is a pathology right so ai i don't think in near future will replace radiologist so please 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 don't kick out radiology as a prospective branch by the fear of ai okay it's a humble request to everybody please don't kick out radiology from your list if you are interested in radiology by fearing that ai will take over my branch not going to happen in the near future second is intervention radiology now intervention radiology is a very very upcoming branch and a very niche of radiology in which you do image guided procedures uh, for patients now what are these image guided procedures so they can be broadly divided into both vascular and non vascular procedures now the second thing i want to discuss is regarding intervention radiology now intervention radiology is a very interesting subset of radiology in which you do various image guided procedures using ct mr and ultrasound and fluoroscopy also so what are these procedures so for example you are doing ct guided biopsies drainage procedures you are doing ultrasound guided fnacs drainage procedures and the higher end stuff of intervention radiology goes into treating brain aneurysms okay so you do endovascular you take a very very fine wire and go through various arteries into the brain and coil the aneurysms which are causing subarachnoid hemorrhage also you might have heard about mechanical thrombectomy in acute strokes all these are done by intervention radiologists in uh, in liver you might have heard about tips in uh, in lower limbs you might have heard about peripheral artery disease and how endovascular treatment opens up the stenosis segments of the lower limb arteries similarly varicose vein treatments are also done by intervention radiologists so there is a whole gamut of procedures which are done by intervention radiologists and if you are someone who wants a uh, patient interaction who loves treating patients who love interacting with patients and want to do high end stuff in clinical uh, management then intervention radiology is for you do search about it uh, watch videos of it on youtube uh, on instagram talk to your seniors who are in intervention radiology believe me you will be fascinated by this branch now coming on to the last part that is money now i want to discuss this in a little detail because this is something which concerns everybody and uh, i'm just talking to you because i want to be transparent in terms of what you should expect after your md or after your sr ship so it basically depends where you want to settle so if you want to settle in a tier 1 city obviously the salary will be less because everything is saturated every branch is saturated every branch salaries in delhi bombay bangalore hyderabad are less right but if you are okay to to mobilize if you are okay to relocate for example you want to settle in jaipur jodhpur dehradun lucknow all these tier 2 cities then the salaries increase and if you are finally okay if your home is let's say in tier 3 cities you belong to tier 3 cities and you want to go back and settle there and live a happy life then you have unlimited potential to earn right so post md in a tier 1 city i would say the salaries range between 1.5 to 2.5 lakhs and in a tier 3 city post md salaries range from 3 to 3.5 lakhs in radiology right similarly post sr ship if you do one or two years or three years of sr ship i would recommend at least at least doing one year sr ship after md then the salaries in tier 1 and tier 2 cities increase so post sr salaries let's say in delhi Uh, Delhi, Bangalore, Hyderabad are 2.5 to 3.5 lakhs, depending upon where you want to settle. For example, if you are settling in NCR, let's say Noida, Ghaziabad, salaries there are a little more than Delhi, right? Now, if you are finally okay with uh, going back to your hometown, joining a diagnostic center there, then the salaries are much higher in the range of 3.5 to all the way to 5.5 lakhs. Okay. Now, entire three cities also you have a very very good opportunity uh, to open up your own diagnostic centers. Okay. because there is a lot of population and there are not well qualified uh, md or dnb radiologists still there in india so the opportunities to earn are definitely uh, good uh, like any other branch uh, what good thing i like about radiology is the settlement is earlier than the rest of the branches okay you will start earning earlier than the rest of the branches and that that really kicks you right that really motivates you to keep going so i think these were the important points that i wanted to highlight and just a word about tele reporting because a lot of students or a lot of people don't know about it so tele reporting consider it as an add on to your regular job okay don't take tele reporting as a primary job because current rates of tele reporting in india believe me are dismal okay they are horrible as compared to abroad 
telly reporting companies in india do not pay at all to give you a reference point uh, the cost of reporting a ct and an mr so let's say you have joined a telly reporting company how much do they pay you for reporting one ct so it ranges from 100 to 300 rupees that's all right a ct is done in a private center in around 3000 4000 rupees but to a radiologist they are just paying 100 to 300 rupees similarly for an mr the rate in tele reporting range from 120 to 350 rupees that's all okay so don't consider tele reporting as your primary source of income as a radiologist at the end i would uh, suggest that everybody who is doing an md in radiology should read well in their md okay you become a good radiologist you help your patients you help the clinical team in making a good diagnosis if you are good at work you believe me you will really do wonders in your life okay so that's all from my side thank you